Lynch praised the community for its response to the tragedy and its unity in defiance of terror. I am so inspired by the strength and the resilience of the survivors and their loved ones. And I am deeply moved by the way that this community and our national community has stood together. The head of the Justice Department announced a grant of $1 million in emergency funding to help cover the costs of overtime work for first responders, counselors, and law enforcement staff involved in the case. The department also is offering emergency counseling and financial aid to those affected by the tragedy. We stand with you today as we grieve together, and long after the cameras are gone, we will continue to stand with you as we grow together in commitment, in solidarity, and in equality. Lynch said it was cruel irony that the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community, which is defined by love, is often the target of hate, as it was on June 12th in the Pulse nightclub. She said authorities are conducting a thorough investigation of the suspect who was killed in a confrontation with police. We are going back and looking at all of our contacts with him as we are asking people to look back at their contacts with him as well to determine what, if anything, we could have done better. Lynch's visit to Orlando comes after the city observed the day of mourning and buried more of the 49 victims. Isaiah Henderson's mother was killed as she used her body to protect him from the bullets. I never thought that her life would be ended right in front of my eyes. <laughs> the street where the carnage occurred opened for business after 10 days of investigations, but the club remains shut down. Slarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.